Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the whole four elect. Starting with the 144,000 men of Israel, which consists of the servants, the prophets, whom have been ordained since the foundations of this earth to sing this new song, which comes in the form of this gospel, which would be preached throughout all four corners of this earth and rest upon the ears of the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children of Israel, who may be scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just want to get into a brief lesson and Lord willing, share a clip uh, with you, Aki Amin Akwab, pretty much uh, going into uh, the condition of uh, over there in the South, uh, North Carolina, Asheville, uh, Tennessee, a few other neighboring uh, states, cities, and towns, man. Pretty much the aftermath of Hurricane Helene and uh, you know the situation that these individuals are going through, man. You got individuals that are you know land that's lo uh, water locked. You, know, you have individuals trapped on mountains, okay, completely trapped. Uh, apparently, FEMA's not helping. American Red Cross is be being <laughs> rendered useless, uh, according to what's being said, man, by the people that are actually there. You know. And this is one great example as to why uh, we should fear the Lord. Okay, because it was hey, it was all good just a week ago, man. Over there in those areas, you know, people were going on about their daily lives. You know, no, no, no care in the world besides, um, you know, their you know, daily occupation or you know, regular, you know, life issues. You know, and there it is, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, whether he, you know, and, you know, you have individuals speaking on how, you know, it could be Esau's, you know, harp system he used it. Either way, either way you slice it, it's the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, all man's goings are of the Lord. All right, the Lord's going to use the wicked to bring forth evil in these latter days, man. <laughs> okay? He's going to use the wicked to do these things. At the end of the day, it's, a, it's, a, it's of him. You see? It's of him that's evil. Okay, that these individuals over there are, are, are failing, man. And primarily Edomites, man. As we know, you know, sundown towns were hit primarily. You know? Evil E, uh, evil e is failing it. You know? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is visiting these people, man. For what they've done. You see? This is the works of our power. Even if evil, even, even if evil E is executed... Um, that hop device real quick In the book of Amos chapter 3 And verse 6 and it reads Shall a trumpet Be blown in the city And the people not be afraid man? And hey the servants of prophets Are blowing the trumpet In the form of what these digital epistles Right these, these various altars That are set up Throughout Babylon and the world, for that matter, all right, telling you Jakes to repent, turn back, evil and only evil is coming. Okay, the modern day Assyrian is gonna open up on you, man. The modern day Assyrian, which is evil e. All right, Jacob's troubles over the horizon. Okay, we're telling you, warning you, but you're not listening. You're not listening. You don't know the sound. You don't know that that you you don't know that sound. You know, you think you think you think it's a time of mirth. You think it's a time of playing around. You know, not realizing that evil and only evil is about to arrive to your neighboring city or town, man. Amos three and six: Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord Yahweh? Have not done it. You see that? So, you know, just backing up the point. 
Either way you slice it, how about Shim Yahweh Shai, even if it is evil E, using his technology, man. Because at the end of the day, hey, judgment's gonna flow down like rain. <laughs> okay? Because this is the time we're in. We're in the time of judgment. We're in the time where Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he's turning the tables, man. He's turning the tables, as we can read in Deuteronomy 30. Let's look at that. As we can read in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 30 and 7. Right in the Lord Yahweh, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. What curses? The curses of Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68. Okay, those curses. We're coming into a time where those curses are transitioning on our enemies, man. All those that hate us and persecuted us, man. Which are all, which are all these heathens, starting with Esau. Okay, this is why they're going through what they're going through over there. And real quick, through the spirit. I want to go grab the curses real quick before we grab this clip. Bear with me. I want to grab them in the uh, in the NLT. I hit shedding light. On this clip, you Aki Yamanakwatha about the witness, which a lot of you probably have already seen. Um, it's from one of the beloved brothers. Uh, hopeful elect. Let. Let's go here. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Right? In verse 28, and it reads The Lord will strike you with madness, blindness, and panic. You will grope around in broad daylight like a blind person groping in the darkness, but you will not find your way. You will be oppressed and robbed continually, and no one will come to save you. Okay, and this is the condition that these individuals are in. You see? <laughs> they're, 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 they're groping around all right, in the daytime, nowhere to go though. They're, they're, they're encamped. You see? And they're, they're, they're in stress because as, they, as, they, as they're witnessing, okay, the, 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 no one's doing nothing for them. The, the government won't release military help. You see? Because honestly, they don't have the military power. You know? And these people are in a disarray. And now you got Hurricane Milton that's about to touch down. And we'll see the outcome of that. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba Shemi Shai. Okay, now let's jump down to verse 34. You will go mad because of all the tragedy tragedy you see around you, man. <laughs> You will go mad because of all the tragedy that you see around you, man. And this is what's on display. Check out this clip. You have ever stepped foot in these Appalachian Mountains and hiked them. We need you here. We need foot. We need people on foot. If you have ever hiked the Rocky Mountains, get here. We need you. We need people experiencing hiking. There's only a few ways to these people. It is to foot, horseback, or helicopter. Dirt bikes, ATVs, side-by-sides. If you have them and can get to East Tennessee or Western North Carolina, we need you. Do not listen to the news when they tell you that they don't want you, they don't need you. I'm telling you, I am here. I live here. I have been already. I'm telling you, we need you. We want you here. The hell with what FEMA says. The hell with what American Red Cross says. They're not here. I'm telling you, they're not here helping. It's been a week, and they're not here. We need manpower. So if you are an experienced hacker, we need you in East 
East Tennessee and Western North Carolina, if you are experienced dirt biker, we need you. If you are experienced ATVs, side by sides, four wheelers, whatever, we need you. We cannot get automobiles up in there. Trucks is not an option. Cars is not an option. If you own private helicopters, we need you. If they threaten to arrest you, we got you as the American people. We need you. These people need saved. These bodies need to be brought down. It is not fair to these families that are looking for their their missing one, their missing loved ones right now, not to have closure. These bodies have got to be brought out of this mountain. You all got to understand. These towns smell like death. I've been down to the river. It smells like death. I've never in my life smelled that kind of death. I've smelled a body that was burnt, but a di it's a different kind of smell, and it's a smell I'll never forget. I have already seen bodies. I'm telling you, I've seen them from my own eyes. That is something I'm never going to forget, ever. But people's got to understand they're washing up on banks. This water has already reached Santee Cooper, South Carolina. Those people are not prepared for what they might possibly encounter, okay? There's a chance that bodies may wash up on their banks in Santee Cooper, South Carolina. They are trying to get them out of the water before they keep drifting. But there's so much we can do as American people because we don't have our military and it's not their fault. The administration won't release them to us. They won't sign the orders. Guys, we've got to get manpower over here. There is people in those mountains. They are finding them every day that are still alive and they've not had anything to eat or drink in a week. We need foot. People on foot. So please make this video go viral. Y'all done it before. Do it again. Share the crap out of this video, people. We need manpower. Don't listen to the news. Don't, because the news ain't telling the truth. Right, the news is not telling the truth, but we are. We've always been telling the truth from our elders and apostles on down, man. To the like-minded men. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. See, this is why we warn you, Jacob, the terrors of the Lord, man. Fear Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. You see, because he's been long suffering with the uh, vessels of destruction, man. You know? Which is Esau. You know, he's been he's been suffering them for a long time, but now he's visiting them, man. You know, from face value, she looks like an Edomite. You know, one thing that can be one thing that one thing is for certain, the majority of the individuals that got capsized, okay, in this in this storm, you see Esau on display. Because these areas were heavily populated by evil E. You see? That's not a coincidence, man. As we know, there's no such thing as coincidences. You know, miserable shall she be that have received thy sons, man. Baruch 4. Miserable shall the cities be, man. Okay? That received thy sons, man. The Lord's not playing. The Lord's visiting evil e for what they've done. We're seeing judgment on open display. You see? And mercy's not uh, on the table, man. All right? Mercy's not on the table. And not because, not because I said so or any of the brothers said so. Because the Lord said so. All right, when you go ahead real quick. And ultimately, there's a reason for it. And we're going to get the precept to prove it. When you go to the Zonovan Bible Compact Dictionary, right? When you go under Esau, all right? I forgot what page it's on. But when you go under Esau, right? It reads what? Edom figures prominently in the prophetic scriptures as the scene of great future judgments. Okay, listen. See notably Isaiah 34 and 5. Right? The Lord's sword is going to be bathed in heaven. It's going to come down upon Hidumia. Those are the missiles. That's the climax of his judgment. Right? And uh, Isaiah 63. Who's this that coming from Eden with dyed garments from Basra? Okay? You know, we know that's Yahweh Shai and that's symbolic for all the deletion he's going to bring to the Edomites in the form of visiting Babylon, man. Okay, she is the only neighbor of the Israelites who was not given any promise of mercy from power. Why? 
Because she showed us no mercy. That's why. Okay? Evil E, okay, showed us no mercy. He showed us no mercy. You see? So what does scripture say regarding that? The book of James chapter 2. In verse 13 it reads, For he shall have judgment without mercy that hath shown no mercy. And mercy rejoiceth against judgment. So when the time comes, when it's time for you to be judged, which we're witnessing now, Okay, mercy is not going to be on display. This is why uh, you eat them out to strand it out there, man. Because who knows what spirits you are and what you've done in times past, you know, to our people over there in that land. Because that land over there, man, they have open graves over there, man, of, uh, you know what I mean? Of Jake. You know, they were dumping Jake in open graves, man. Burning Jake at the stake. Hanging Jake, whole families. You know? Just brutalizing Jake over there, man. The Lord said what? He has to cleanse the land by the blood of those who who, who did the, who did that. They, the, land, the blood of the land has to get cleansed, okay, by those that, that, uh, that shed it. You see? That's the law. That's the law. That's why it's playing out like that. And the world can't understand why. You know, Proverbs tells us, Proverbs, what's that, 28? You know, evil men understand our judgment. You know, so the world can't understand why it's, you know, the conditions of the way they are over there. Or, you know, why they're in a desperate situation and no help's coming for them. It's because Yahweh by Shimei Shai is creating that scenario. Judgment's rolling out. You see, and this is an example of how critical mercy is, man. Mercy is, mercy is a precious thing when the time comes when you need it. Matter of fact, let me close out right here. There's a book of Sirach, the Wadi Yahweh by Shimei Shai. He gave me this. We'll close out right here. There's a book of Ecclesiastes. It's also known as the book of Sirach. Chapter 35 and verse 20, and it reads, Mercy is seasonable in the time of affliction, man. See, you don't need mercy now. When you're able to wake up, go to sleep, and come and go as you please. Eat, drink, talk shit. As you please. Okay, but when the time comes... When you Jakes find yourself confined, you find yourself in the predicament where you're in a straight, okay, which is a position of difficulty, and you can't get out, then you're going to be calling for that mercy. That's when that season of mercy comes to fruition at that point. But right now, you're good. So you want to you wanna, you wanna, uh, play your games and talk your shit. Until you end up in the crunch, in the crunch, man. There's an example of an individual that's in the crunch, man. And there's no feeling in the world worse, okay, than being in a situation, okay, where you know, you know, imminent death if you don't get saved out of it, okay? She comes, she's come to that conclusion. She knows if help doesn't come, she's out of there. You see? And this is what's coming to the world, man. This is what's coming to Babylon in its totality. Judgment, man. The Lord is going to put you people in a very, very vulnerable situation. And only the elect is going to make it out. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number, man. Let me finish this precept. Let me start from the top. The book of Ecclesiastes, also known as the book of Sirach. Chapter 35, verse 20. See, we're not doing this in vain. We're not doing this for no reason. You see, as far as us brothers, you know, teaching us truth, 
following the Lord wherever he whithersoever he goeth walking in the path of obedience to the best of our ability and that goes for that goes for all the hopeful elect we're not doing this for nothing we're doing this in hopes to be delivered when the time comes when we need it see we're storing up spiritual treasures in heaven that can be redeemed for mercy man in the days to come when mercy is going to be needed than anything else on this earth man the book of Ecclesiastes is also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 35 and verse 20. And it reads, mercy is seasonable in the time of affliction as clouds of rain in the time of drought, right? It ain't nothing, hey, man. When you see them clouds come rolling in, man, it was just a, it was just a, a, a two month drought. The water holes are dried up. They've been dried up for days. When you see them, when you see the Lord have them clouds roll through, you know rain's coming. Man, ain't nothing but uh, joy after that. You know? Hey, that's like it unto the mercy, man. When you find yourself in a strait, and you see no light at the end of the tunnel, there's nothing more pleasing than to come to the conclusion that help is truly on the way. When all the power is taken out of your hands, man. Evil E. I'm going to leave you with this. Our reality. Has become. Your reality. Kahalayim la Yahweh ba Hashem Shai. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Shalom.